here on the Norwegian Bliss. I'm not going to try to say the name of that, um, but I just call it Fat Babies. <laughs> it's the Fat Babies game, so I've got a little over 300 in here. $8.88 is the bet, $8.88. Um, you're going to see uh, some videos you probably wouldn't normally see on this trip just because there's only a certain number of machines in the casino. So. Short of showing you videos of the same five machines over and over and over, we have to play a few things different. So. I think I said this already, but we're on the Norwegian Bliss out of Seattle. Come on now. Here we go, 106 bucks. It's a seven day cruise to Alaska. We're staying in the Haven area, which is extremely nice. So our room number is 18100. Get on there and check that out. I think Stacy's probably gonna post a video of the room. The casino has been uh, fairly nice. As far as cruise casinos go, this is one of the nicer ones I've been in. It's not huge, but it's very, very nice. And the staff here is amazing. We had talked about going live today, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, I probably had a little too much to drink. <laughs> so I took a I took a nap today after we got back on the ship. But now I'm ready to go, so it's time to pull an all-nighter. Come on now. Let's get free spins. that gonna be hundred eleven dollars and fifty five cents all right ammo All right, sorry about that. Stacy's mom came and talked to me for a few minutes, and it, uh, the machine will sign you out and put the money on your card if you're idle for a couple of minutes. So I put 390 back in here. That's pretty close to what I had. Yeah, we brought Stacy's mom and a friend of hers on this cruise. It's kind of a, they keep saying it's a once in a lifetime trip for them, which I told them. It's only once in a lifetime if we don't come again, and I'm ready to book it again for next year, so hopefully they'll want to do that as well. It was uh, something that Stacy and I did for her mom after losing Stacy's dad, you know, a little over a year ago now. So it's been a great trip. We've had a lot of fun together. So even a better reason for us to hit the uh, maxi on this for a little under 10,000. If I do that, I'm gonna walk down tonight and book this cruise again for us all. Come on now. How about free spins? I haven't gotten free spins yet this trip. Oh, here we go again. I think it's going to be $111 or whatever that is. Oh, I'm sorry, $102 this time. Man, this one's stingy with the free spins, but 
long as it keeps letting me win something, it only takes one, right? Stacy's over here on the other side of me playing craps. Hopefully she's gonna roll for about an hour here in a minute. Can I get a box of soda, please? Also take a water, a cup, a glass of water too, please. Yeah, a glass of water and a box of soda. What do you think? Oh, mini again. On these types of machines where you pick the uh, coins, I've never one time gotten the grand or this one's called the maxi, but I've never gotten anything higher than the major. Oh, here we go. Nice. How about now? First time, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I had a lot of, uh, I had all those jacks. So, wow. There you go. $167. Nice. Our friend Cowboy Slots. And I'm probably wrong. I'm sure he'll correct me if I am. But <laughs> I believe he says that if it doesn't show what the um, progressive was after you finish picking, then that means it's predetermined, you know, what you're going to win. Um, and I think the ones that do show afterwards, like if it would have showed what all the other coins that I didn't pick were, I believe that's the one that, you know, is not predetermined. Uh, at least I think that's what he said, but I'll check with him again for sure when we get back. Come on, coin. Whatever you call that. We need three of these for the free spins. And the free spins, I believe, I have multipliers in them. Oops, sorry, I hit a little bump there. I got one coming, I think so. You're slow getting over here, man. You're slow getting over here, so somebody else had to, you know, I'm just kidding with you, man. I know I've said this on a couple of videos, but I will tell you, you will not go thirsty in this casino. At least not this trip. They have been all around. Make sure you take good care of your uh, servers whenever they bring your drinks. They're, they're, they're working hard on this ship. And a shout out to the uh, casino manager, Martin. Super helpful this trip, uh, getting us permission to record and just a great guy. Thanks. Here you go, man. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. All right, got a drink here and I got a water. Oh. 
seems like every cruise that I've been on uh, for you craps players, there's always like one really good roll, it seems like. Um, there was one of those this trip. Uh, one really good roll where Stacy and I were playing and we got our uh, bets up to max, table max. But it seems like most of the other rolls though have kind of sucked, but you know, with craps, I think the key is you just gotta play long enough to catch that one really good roll. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Next time. She winning? No, I don't think so. We're gonna go over here. Alright, good luck. Bye. Uh-huh. Thank you. That was Stacy's mom again walking by to say hi. They went and lost their 20 bucks and then walked back by and said they didn't have any luck. I will say on this ship though, I've seen the, um, the locket links. They, they only have two banks of them and they're the old school locket links where it's the diamonds and the nightlife. But I've seen the major hit three times on here. One of the one of the people hitting the major was playing, I think, 20 bucks, but the other two were playing, like, I don't know, a dollar or something like that. So it's always fun to see, you know, those low bets hit those good progressives. Free spins, one time, free spins. I thought we were gonna get the free spins, but that's a good hit, $300. I thought it was gonna be free spins though. All right, so we're almost back to even. I've gotten that screen a few times. Stacy's back, by the way. She did not have an hour roll playing craps. No, but there were some couple that were promising. Yeah, I saw that. I saw one that was doing pretty good. I had my uh, 9 and 10 up to 100 each. Nice. But never hit them. I still haven't gotten free spins on this. I've gotten the luck has arrived a couple of times, and it's been either the, I don't know, it's that game where it gives you like 100 bucks. I've gotten the progressive a few times too, but I can tell you which one I've gotten every time. Okay, we're gonna let Stacy pick these. Maybe she's got the lucky touch on her. All right, I've seen this pattern before. They just came by a second ago and said they lost their 20 bucks. I told them about the diamond link back there that has the maxed out major. This one's at the major twice. Come on. Still haven't gotten free spins. You know that guy's gonna roll for an hour, right? One really good roll, two really bad ones. <laughs> you did? Or oh, he yes. did? Yeah, so I'm roll once. Alright, Stacy, I'll see ya.
I think that's over 100 bucks. Nice. Good job, Stacy. All right, so we got Major next, right? Nope, he didn't roll for an hour. Yeah. So, funny story about playing craps on a cruise one time. Best, the best roll I've ever had on a, on a cruise scrap stable anyways. No, he's not. We were playing, uh, I think it was a Norwegian cruise. And Stacy was playing on one side of the guy working the stick and I was on the other side. And it had been a very cold table. So... Stacy rolled. Not had not a very good roll. It had been several bad rolls in a row. And she got pissed off and, and left. The dice came to me and I was like, okay, I'm gonna roll one more. I'm gonna roll one more time and then, you know, I'll come meet you or whatever. So she went off to play slots. And I started rolling. I think I started with 54 across if you're a craps player. You know, that's basically every number I had two units on. So basically $10 to $12 per, per number. And I rolled and I rolled and I rolled for over an hour. And I had maxed out every number on the table. Uh, maxed out hard ways. It was a great roll. Stacy walked by a couple of times. Didn't realize it was the same roll. Um... And when I finally stopped, she was like, oh, I, you know, she looked down and I had, I think I had, I don't remember what I had, maybe $20,000, something like that. It was, I said it was a really good roll. If the table max would have been higher, <clears throat> I would have won a lot more. But she couldn't believe that she had walked away right before that. But sometimes that's just the way it works on craps. I mean, it's like a slot machine. You just never know what you're going to get. I know people people set the dice and all that. I personally don't believe that that helps, but you know, if you do believe that it helps and that's the way that it helps you roll better, then hey, more power to you, right? Oh, got the miner again. Nice. But yeah, so then after I, after I cashed out, I said, I think I cashed out. It was, it was over 20,000. I don't remember the exact number, but I took the chips up to the uh, cashier's cage and obviously I, I had a little bit to drink and I, I walked up to the cashier's cage and handed him my money and the uh, casino manager was over there and he was like, Hey, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to give you cash for this. And I looked at him kind of funny and I was like well, what are you going to give me monopoly money you know I was kind of I guess maybe a little bit irritated when he said that but what I didn't realize was he wasn't saying they weren't going to pay me <laughs> he was just saying they couldn't give me cash right then because we were out at sea and didn't have a stop for another day or two and he said that if he paid me cash for it all right then they could run out of money before we got to the next stop to get more cash and uh, so they just, you know, put it as basically a credit and I could draw from it. And then at the end of the cruise or after we had a, the next stop, you know, I could get my money. But at the time when you've been drinking a lot <laughs> and someone says that it kind of catches you off guard. But needless to say, they did pay me. So it all worked out. I think what had happened is the night before somebody had won $80,000 playing blackjack. So they were very cash poor at that time. And they have to keep enough cash on hand in the safe to cover, you know, the bets and things that are going on that night. Slot machines, things like that. Long-winded story that you guys probably aren't interested in, but... I gotta do something since I'm not really winning much on here, but I'm not losing terribly either, so... Come on. 
Man, I can't believe I haven't gotten free spins on this yet. but there we go back in the game all right so I think I started originally with 300 in this machine and never really got up much on it but I did get way down I'm gonna go ahead and cash out here and that was my attempt at fat babies <laughs> on the Norwegian Bliss. Thanks for watching, guys.